Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about a screen mirroring app that works very well on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Doesn't matter the OS that you are currently on. And what I like about this app is that it provides a very nice quality to the phone screen that is displayed on your computer. And it also has a very simple and intuitive interface. And I think everyone could use this app even at a first glance. The app that we're talking about in this video is called iMyPhone Mirror 2. iMyPhone Mirror 2 is a very nice app that has a lot of features, of course, such just mirroring iOS slash Android phones to your computer, you can control the phone screen, stream your phone screen transfer files, and cast multiple phone screens to a computer simultaneously. You'll have all the links necessary in the description below if you want to try out the app for free. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. When you first open the app, it looks something like this. The installation process is very simple and you're going to have to select your phone system. System. In my case, I'm going to select Android and what is really important to do firstly is to connect your phone with an USB cable because the first time you connect it to the app, it is recommended that the phone is connected with an USB cable so that the app will remember the phone next time when you're using it and you'll be able to show your phone screen even with Wi-Fi or just scanning a QR code. You won't need to have your cable connected at all times. Now I'm going to have to select my device, tap OK and on my phone, I'm going to receive the following notification where I'll have to tap allow USB debugging. And after you allow it, you're going to see that the phone screen will be displayed on the Mirror 2 app on your computer. And you are also going to be automatically greeted with the my phone Mirror 2 app on your phone. So as you can see, at a first glance, everything is very responsive and you have a 60 frames per second display that looks very, very nice. There is no input delay. Everything is basically one on one. And I think that is great. And the left side of the app, you have a few controls that you can change. For example, you can disable mouse control so that you can no longer control the phone screen using your mouse on your computer. You also have connect another device and you'll be able to connect another phone and show it at the same time on your computer. That is really nice. You also have here screenshots and you can take a screenshot and the picture was copied to the clipboard. And if you go here and then set up, you're going to notice on general settings that you also have options related to the screenshots, where to save them and so on. I think that is very, very nice. Right now, the screenshot is not automatically saved on my computer, but if I click on yes and select the location, the screenshot will be automatically saved. We also have turn off screen, which will basically turn off the phone screen and leave only the mirror to app with the phone screen. This will help you with the battery usage. And basically, will lower it if you're using it to record something or to stream something. As you can see here, we have the recording function. We can record it. And again, for the recording function, you can change some settings inside the settings of the app. You then you can stop it and you have all the recordings that you've done on your computer. We also have keyboard mapping with a configuration, transparency, mouse sensitivity, and more. And what I find very interesting about this app is that you can also stream. And basically, if you click on stream, you're going to be able to stream either to a conferencing software or to live streaming platforms. So for example, you are doing a Zoom conference or something like that, you can share the phone screen directly with this app. And I think that is very, very nice. And of course, here you have the basic controls of your phone, back home and menu. I think that is also really nice. And from here, you can hide the left side menu if you don't like it. So as I've said at the beginning, the app is very, very nice. It is very simple and intuitive, has all the needed features that you would need for a app of this kind. And I think this is very, very nice. You can try it out, as I've said, from the links in the description below for free to see if the app is good enough for you or not. But in my opinion, this is one of the best apps that you can use to mirror your phone screen to your computer in Windows 11 in this case. As I've said, don't forget to try out iMyPhone Mirror 2 from the links in the description below, and you can download it for free today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also so subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.